Hello and welcome to section two uh, of the introduction to psychology. We're going to look at what psychologists do today. Uh, this is a meme from years ago, what society thinks they do is they're psychics. What friends think they do is they lay on the couch or they let people in lay on the couch. What their parents or the clients think they do is magic. Psychology students think it's all about stacking those papers, baby. What they think they do is hang out, hang out, help kids. What they actually do is a lot of paperwork. So let's get into it. Uh, there's a lot of professional activities that psychologists do. You can teach. Uh, you can do research, which means you're probably going to work in a university or a college or something like that and, and actually try to find new, new findings, new things to help people out. Um, you can provide health or, or mental health services to people. That's, that's probably good, helping people. Uh, conducting research and applying findings in non-academic settings. Not sure where you do that. Maybe for a sports team or a business or something like that. Uh, so there's two types. I mean, if you look at the big umbrella, there's basic psychology, where you basically, that's really bad English on my part, uh, where you seek knowledge for its own sake. You're trying to expand the body of knowledge of psychology on why people do things and what makes us tick. Then there's applied tech, uh, psychology, where you apply it. Uh, you, you try to make use of it, try to make uh, improvements, try to help people, try to you know improve their lives. Uh, what if studying AP psychology is one big psychology experiment? <gasps> Maybe it is. Uh, Two-thirds of new psychology doctorates are members of the APA, which is the American Psychological Association. They are practitioners. Um, they are counseling psychologists. You can counsel people and help them out. They're school psychologists, uh, and you know each district usually has some. Uh, your Counselors down on the do the scheduling. They um, have backgrounds in psychology. It's necessitated necessitated by law. Teaching it's necessitated that you know how to speak English or speak well. And apparently I don't. Uh, clinical psychologists diagnose, treat, and study mental emotional problems. Uh, Modes have a PhD. Some have an educational doctorate, and some have now increasingly called a PsyD or a psychology do doctorate. Um, if you get a psychology degree, chances are you're not going to be homeless. Not like philosophy, or liberal arts, or history. <laughs> Who gets a history degree? Oh, my bad. Uh, people often confuse clinical psychologists with psychotherapists, which are not legally regulated. Therapists, you can do whatever. Those are like Dr. Phil. You go to the ranch, you hear, you go on the couch and serve. Psychoanalysts are the use of particular one form of therapy, like you know, laying on the couch. This is reverse psychology here. Think carefully and then tell me about my about yourself, about me. Uh, they have advanced degrees, they have specialized training, and then you have psychiatrists. Uh, psychiatric work, uh, they have an MD, they're medical doctors. And the difference between a PhD and an MD is they're both doctors, but the MD can prescribe medication and drugs for people. Uh, so they're similar to clinical psychologists, but they focus more on the biological as aspects of psychology. They can prescribe medication. Um, there's also licensed clinical social workers. There's marriage, family, and child counselors. There's counselors with specific specialities. There's over 54 divisions in the American Psychological Association now. Short video, that's all we have for today. Next time we're going to check out critical and scientific thinking in psychology. Yay. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, subscribe or keep watching. Learn in psychology.